Fast Signs family, Katherine Monson again. Uh, hope you're not getting tired of my videos yet, but I'm trying to find a way to just share with you what's on my heart. Those of you who've been in the network any amount of time, more than a year, you know that I, can't, I often talk about the, what I believe are the five common characteristics of all highly successful people. And that I believe these common characteristics are all learned skills and they are positive mental attitude, goal-directed behavior, uh, self-motivation, a sense of urgency, and never stopping learning. And what I try to do every day is get a little bit better in at least one of those. Get better in positive mental attitude, get better in goal-directed behavior, get better in self-motivation, get better in a sense of urgency, and get better in never stopping learning. Now, this might seem like a crazy thing to be talking about right now during this coronavirus pandemic, but I want to kind of put a twist on it and say, how can we get better as leaders of our business and as leaders of in our community, as leaders of our family, focusing on getting a little bit better on each of these five characteristics. So I really truly believe that successful people do the things that less successful people are unwilling to do. Part of that's gonna be that self-discipline of making yourself have an attitude of gratitude and making yourself have a positive attitude. So, you know, if I think about it, think about Inspiration Hall, think about the books and books and volumes of quotes that I have that I fill my mind with, I fill my spirit with. One is from Henry Ford, which is, whether you believe you think you can do the thing or not, you're right. That's really all about, if you think you can do it, you can do it. If you think you can't, there's not a chance in hell you're ever gonna be able to. So I'd start by thinking, I can be a great leader even in times of challenge like this. I can be a great father or mother leading my family. I can make a difference in the community because I believe that I can. I'm gonna make a difference. I'm gonna do something nice for somebody. And nobody is ever gonna be more successful than they see themselves being. So we have to see ourselves getting through this pandemic. We have to see ourselves getting to the other side and we need to see ourselves being a good positive role model for those around us during this crazy, crazy time. You know, I believe that you become what you think about. And that's why I think it's so important to think positive thoughts. If all we think about is doom and gloom, we become what we think about. And then I'm also really proud to think about that, you know, attitudes are contagious. And what I want to do each and every day is give an attitude that when it's caught by my Fast Signs International team or when it's caught by our Fast Signs International franchisees, it makes a positive difference. So, you know, think about is my attitude that I have today worth catching? And if it's negative, you know the answer is no, and only you can change your attitude. And then one of my favorite quotes that I keep repeating to myself during times of stress, and I might have said it to myself a few hundred times in the last week or two, is a diamond is a piece of coal that took stress really well. I am working every day to get my head into that positive mental attitude because I know I'll be a better leader because of that. And I work on that. That's discipline. And then the next thing I wanna talk about is goal-directed behavior. And those goals can be little goals, but we ought to have a couple goals to accomplish every single day. And yes, we've got the big goals for our business, like working on reducing expenses and making sure we're holding on to cash and all of the things that's in the recession document, I get all that. But some of those goals could also be, be a really loving father today, say something wonderful to each of my kids, teach my kids about the importance of positive mental attitude, and share some quotes with them, right? So that goal-directed behavior, it can be little things. One of those things could be, for me this weekend, uh, I'm gonna be getting all of my May franchisee birthday cards done. And that's just, it's part of what I do, right? It's a goal, I fulfill it. When I fulfill a goal, I feel good about myself, right? And so I just think that's something we ought to be thinking about. You know, all high achievers plan their work and work their plan. And that plan can be, I'm gonna do the laundry today and I'm gonna make the bed today. Now, trust me, that last one, I'm gonna make the bed today is never gonna be on one of my goals because for those of you who've been around me much, you know I don't believe in making a bed because I'm gonna get back in it tonight. But that's kind of a personal thing, but it's true. And uh, it was Albert Einstein who said, if you want to live a happy life, tie it to a goal, not to people or things. And so as you're setting these little goals for yourself to make some progress every day, to be a better parent, to be a better leader, to be a better community, uh, role model, they can be little goals, but as you check them off, you're gonna feel better about yourself and you're gonna be filling your mind with positive stuff. And you know, 
if you focus on what you want, you're more likely to get it. So I'd be focusing on getting through this pandemic, being a great parent, being a great leader and all that kind of stuff. And then that self-motivation is just doing a little bit more each and every day. Um, I, Thomas Jefferson said, never put off to tomorrow what you can do today. And that could be as simple as uh, a loving gesture to somebody who's important to you, making a phone call to your elderly parent who right now you shouldn't be seeing because they're in a high risk group, but sharing love over the telephone or via FaceTime, right? That just doing one more thing, two more things every single day, that self-motivation piece can be very, very helpful. And uh, I do believe in Yoda, the Jedi master from Star Wars who said, do or do not, there is no try. And that's what I'm going to do each every day is I'm going to choose to do things. I'm not going to think maybe I'll do it. I'll either do it or I won't do it. But that is a decision. And then uh, that sense of urgency, I guess, one more thing, one more thing, getting it done and then never stopping learning. In the video that I sent you last week, I talked about what to do with your time right now, about expecting the best, preparing for the worst and uh, uh, capitalizing on what comes. And part of that expecting the best is doing something positive with this extra time you have. And that's part of that never stopping learning. And I'm a big believer that leaders are readers and constant improvement comes because you're consist consistently filling your mind and high performance is driven by constant improvement. And, you know, chance favors the prepared mind. Um, and I think we can get through this together. I'm a big believer that uh, when you're tough on yourself, life is easier on you. And I believe as you're tough on yourself and holding your to, you're holding yourself to standards to get a little bit better each and every one of these days of this pandemic, be a little better in positive mental attitude, a little bit better in goal-directed behavior, a little bit better in self-motivation, a little bit better in a sense of urgency, and a little bit better in never stopping learning. You're gonna come out on the other side better. Your children are gonna look up to you and, and see a role model that they're gonna want to uh, emulate as they get older in their lives. So Catherine Monson just telling each and every one of my Fast Signs franchisees, my Fast Signs family, I love you. We're gonna get through this together thinking about you and sending you love.